Capricorn, hello. Amanda here. Welcome to the Unseen Hands Collective. This is going to be your April 2021 tarot shift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like. Cap, this is only the tarot portion of your April shift. We also have an astroscope and a guidebook to help you work through the complete energy that's coming through the Unseen Hands Collective for April. So make sure you check that out, link in the description to take you to our website, unseenhandscollective.com. Okay, uh, my friend, I love this reading so much. For some reason, it just like has me um, so delighted. Um, the image that's coming through is the Three of Pentacles, which is a tarot card. I've brought it forth for you. So you have an image, one image of the Three of Pentacles. It's often associated with work, with the things that you are building, maybe in collaboration with others. Um, to me, it's like, in, and it's a Capricorn card also. I think it's Mars in Capricorn. So it's like the act, the action of building, of working, of creating something and cap um with the three of pentacles i heard making it work you know and i saw you like shifting the pentacles around shifting things around making it work okay i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna shift things around um and then i asked for another image and this is where it gets wild i was like immediately shot up into the sky and i was i was looking down very high above the clouds and looking down on an eagle flapping its wings and like flying pretty quickly but I was I was behind the eagle looking down on it and watching that and then I started pulling cards and the first card out I kid you not it's that dang bird coming in as the ace of pentacles dropping something good on you I love to see it okay this is your shape shift we're using the Spolia Tarot. The shape you're shifting out of this month is the Ace of Coins, and you are shifting into the Queen of Coins. So shifting out of the, the raw potential of the thing, you know, the essence of this earth energy that is coming through right from the beginning, talking about the things that you are creating and how you are creating them, how you are working with this earth energy, with your energy, because you're an earth sign. Shifting out of the potential and into the internal embodied experience of it. You know, I always see this queen as trying to find a place to plant her pentacle. It's like the bird comes and drops it into your hands. You are receiving something new perhaps something very tangible, it's, but it's in seed state. It has the potential to grow into something more. And now here you are like, all right, where am I gonna put it? I'm so happy to receive it. Now, where am I gonna put it? What is the place? What's the right place for it? You know, here we see the queen traveling with a pack, with her wolf pack. Okay, where are we gonna put this? Where are we gonna plant this that it's going to grow into the most fully realized version of this potential. Okay, so this could be something new. Dropping in that on the wings of the eagle, you know, coming in hot. I don't know, Cap, but interesting. This is what your shape shift looks and feels like. We have your energy here, your card in the tarot, the devil. We have the nine of cups, and then we have judgment, the shedding of a skin. And so we have two pretty intense majors here, two pretty intense cards. And right at the center, or I should say right at the heart of that, Capricorn is your heart. The Nine of Cups is what makes your heart sing. This is what lights you, flushes you pink, you know, gets the blood flowing, gets your heart beating fast. This is what excites you, what brings you emotional satisfaction, which it brings you a sense of abundance and a sense that you are flourishing and aliveness. I mean, like, yes, this is a sensual card for me. This is a card of just feeling absolute expansion of your experience of life. This is Jupiter and Pisces, you know, Jupiter expansion. 
and Pisces, like the poetry, oh my gosh, you know, the romance, the poetry, the experience, the emotional experience of this feeling of heart expansion. It's so good, okay? It's so good. But the Nine of Cups, I think, in this reading is asking you, what do you want? More specifically, what do you desire? Because here we have this trajectory, you know, if we're, if we're watching this um, pentacle, we're following the, follow the pentacle, here it is. It comes in and then here, and here it hovers. It pauses for a moment. It's hovering above you because I'm getting that you need to put it through that filter of your desire, put it to the test, ask it, you know, this is like, it's the difference between something coming in and you just automatically shifting and rearranging, right? Three of pentacles. Okay, make it work. I'll shift things around. I'll make it work to accommodate this new thing coming in without ever really asking yourself, do I want this thing? You know, do I desire this? Is this serving my desires, my goals, my visions? Or am I just accommodating something because I think I should? Or because it's habit. <laughs> okay, so it's like, put this through the test and really ask it. Ask yourself, how does this make me feel? Does this light me up? Does this get me excited? And, and all of those, the answer to all of those questions is like in the present, not necessarily because, you know, you again, you're that goat up on the top of the mountain. You're a very forward thinking sign you've got the vision your cardinal energy you've got the vision but this this isn't it this experience isn't really asking you about your vision this is really asking you about your present how does it feel right now is this giving you a richer experience of yourself and your aliveness and your desires right now and if so bring it in plant it in your garden I know Capricorn, you've got a garden of long-term visions and goals and dreams. Plant the things in that garden that feel good to you in the present because those are the things that you're going to naturally nurture and grow and water and take care of because they nourish you now and they will grow into something that nourishes you even more. Like that's what this feels like. Okay, so then why these heavies? Because I think, I mean, we're going to get into it in the extended and really dig and find out. But, you know, this devil energy, it's, it's sort of showing me the ways that you just like, this thing comes in and you take it and maybe internalize it immediately. You know, we're seeing like a beast swallowing someone or swallowing something. And I often see this as sort of this the void we can all get in that is a cycle of self-sabotage, you know, the way we each in our own unique ways can um, sort of eat ourselves. Um, and the devil comes in when it's time to live for liberation. It's time to liberate yourself from yourself in some way, or maybe from some external circumstances that you're participating in that aren't actually furthering your experience of desire and aliveness and um, vibrancy. You're freeing yourself from anything that you do out of obligation that is unnecessary, that isn't serving this experience for you. And I think that's really shedding a skin. It's, it is a big moment of awakening for you because, you know, making it work and accommodating for other people in a way that detracts from you is maybe something an older version of you would have done. And now maybe these cards are coming out because you're at a moment of evolution. You're at a big moment of evolving for the self and, and you're ready to release that version of yourself and to start prioritizing your desire and to put that first. If I could, if I could really summarize this reading, I think what's, co what's coming in is, or what's around you is something that you have the potential, that has the potential 
to satisfy your needs and your wants and your longings and your yearnings and your cravings and your desires. And this is not a practical energy. This is an energy of the heart. This is an energy of the guts. You know, something you desire. <laughs> but you have to find a place for that. Maybe that's what the Three of Pentacles is saying. Oh, I can shift things around. I can make things work. You're always doing that for other people. Do you ever do that for yourself? Let me shift things around so that I have time to explore my desires and prioritize what I want. Prioritize play, prioritize things that make me feel good. Prioritize the, the space, give yourself a place and the space to, there you go, to nurture and grow your desires that they may nourish you. Yeah. It's like you have to make room for that in your life. Instead of prioritizing so every other thing other than what you actually desire. Make space for your desires. Nourish them, nurture them, grow them, help them become something you can't even conceive of yet. You know, I think the devil experience is like holding them inside and just like continuously internalizing them, internalizing them because you're living externally. You're just like doing all this stuff in the external world, making things work, making things work. Meanwhile, you're, you've got all these desires that are like boom, 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 boom wanting to come out of you, but you're like, no, I'm making things work out here. And it's like actually shift things around so that boom, 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 your heart has a place to express itself and to feel and to play and explore and experience the things that it is desiring, that you are desiring. This is about finding a, making a space for you and I like that that your pack is here because these are people around you that want to make space for those things with you these are the folks but it's like you know the nine is a solo energy it starts with you making that space for yourself like you're the you have to it starts with you and then you bring that out and say hey this is a desire of mine and then your pack is like great let's find a space for it let's move things around let's make things work let other people rearrange things for you you know when when we were talking through this energy um with my cohorts kevin and kelsey at the collective i think it, somebody said let other people cap for you you know what that means you cap for everybody else you capricorn for everybody like sure i'll make that work for you i can actually help you with this yes i can do this for you blah blah blah, blah. let other people do that for you but it starts with you opening up about your needs, your desires, your longings, your yearnings. And then it's like you and your pack can help make space for those things and make space for you in all of these things that you all are building or that you are building. Make sure you're building a place for yourself. Oof, Cap, I love this energy. Okay, we're gonna take it into an extended reading now. I'm gonna use other cards, see if we can get some clarifying energy. So if you'd like to join me for the deep dive, click the link in the description that'll take you over to the website, unseenhandscollective.com, where you can access that in our shop and in our monthly memberships. Stick around because there will be a preview of your extended reading and your astroscope and guidebook at the end of this video. Cap, thanks for being here. Take care. No need to push, relent, like let it go. You know, there's this thing of like, again, me pushing myself. <sighs> you can't push pleasure is what I just heard. That's great, that's it. You can't force pleasure. You can't push yourself into pleasure. I'm sure many of y'all have experienced that firsthand. You can't force yourself to enjoy something. 
Pleasure needs s lots of space, free of um, time pressures, free of um, internal mental pressures or expectation type pressures. All of the ways that we snuff out our pleasure when we put all sorts of weight pressure onto it. Pleasure does not respond to pressure. Ooh, this is so good. You cannot push pleasure. You have to relent. You have to surrender. You see that because you're actually seeing people. You're, you're really just looking around and being like, oh, so wait a minute. If I step back and say I need X and I tell someone blah, 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 do you mean to tell me like they can actually help me do that or get the or do the thing for me or like, you know, you have support. And this is about you learning to walk with your inner child. Like really telling your child, OK, like, yes, that was a really hard part of our lives. But we're not going to talk about that anymore because look at the abundance around us. Look at the love around us. Look at the joy around us. Look at the peace around us. Okay? Look at the peace that surrounds us. <laughs>